What's up guys, it's your boy Franklin here, and today I'm gonna talk about a weather. Yep, it might be sunny outside, it might be raining in some parts of this country, but today we're gonna talk about snow, because remember, hail doesn't exist anymore in this generation, that is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So before we get right into it, please like and subscribe, that is the best way to support me for free. I know we've been grinding, grinding, grinding with the DLC, and now that I completed the DLC game, we're going to focus more towards the competitive aspect. But if you guys want to check out other videos, go ahead and do so at the end of this one. So, why is now snow becoming such a prominent weather and arguably might be the best one out right now? Well, it's because one Pokemon got reintroduced via the DLC, and that happens to be Alolan Ninetales. Yes. This beauty since Generation 7 has been putting up Aurora Veils many more times <laughs> than our other screening counterparts like Grimmsnarl and Dragapult, which has been seeing rise. But now you don't need any of that. Ninetales Alola is now the best screen setter in the game, and it has a couple of tools that can combat a lot of the metagame threats that are going on right now. So first and foremost, you know, we have Light Clail to maximize the turns a roar veil to eight and then the move set can be adjustable i would say probably a couple moves could be switched out but encore is there just to disrupt any of potential sweepers in the game and then we have freeze dry freeze dry hits water types that might actually become a little bit annoying for our next pokemon that we're going to talk about and then we have hypnosis in order to put pokemon to sleep and then in the event that you are in a weather war this Pokemon, Ninetales, also ended up getting a new move. Not really new because of its uh, usage, but it is now called Snowscape. And Snowscape essentially is hail. Snow falls for five turns. But what's really cool about snow nowadays in Generation 9 is that all ice types get a 50% boost in defense. So all your little frail ice type Pokemon, like Weavile, they get a defense boost and all the bulkier pokemon like mamoswine and baxcalibur to a certain extent they get a boost in defense meaning that now you sit behind aurora veil and a boost in defense oh yeah you're bulky you're not taking those physical hits heavily anymore so now they're gonna be packing a bunch of damage uh in this meta game however if weather isn't becoming an issue to the point that wars are gonna start i would say hypnosis will be your best bet disrupts a lot of pokemon Especially when they fall into an Encore as well, so double whammy. Then I have here max HP and max speed. And what's really cool about Ninetales is that it can take, and I'm not making this up, because of the defense boost now, it can take a Pyro Ball from Cinderace that isn't boosted by like Life Orb or Choice Bandit. Like it can hit, a, it can eat, eat, I'm saying, a Pyro Ball. But now we're gonna go into the Pokemon that benefited the most from the essence of this pokemon and it is baxcalibur and baxcalibur itself actually ended up with a new cool toy that it can take advantage of so we're going to talk about loaded dice baxcalibur uh, i think this is going to be the best set in the metagame especially when it's paired in hyper offensive teams if you see a baxcalibur on the team then pretty much you're going to see a little nine tails because they are just synergy like black to white yin yang shack and kobe MJ and Scotty Pippen. Those are going to be the two. And we actually have the ability of Ice Body. So no more Thermal Exchange. So what Ice Body does is that it, once Snow is in the field, this Pokemon heals 16th of its HP. And what's really cool about that, because with Snow as well, it gives a defense boost. And if you look at its stats, a defense boost of this Pokemon, yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is going to be quite bulky. It's going to take hits. What's, and that's awesome. But now... We're going to talk about the new move, or sorry, oh, I butchered that. A new move that it ended up getting, and that is Scale Shot. Scale Shot, if you guys remember Dragon-type Pokemon, like Garchomp getting this move. Basically, it's a plus one speed for every time you use it. Of course, you lose physical defense. But hey, that's a pretty good exchange considering you already got a boost in defense. Why worry? So now Scale Shot can be used with loaded dice, that means now your hits are going to hit four to five turns rather than two to five times. Four to five times now. Then people have been, you know, juggling between Swords Dance and Dragon Dance. I think Swords Dance has more utility because if you get a Swords Dance up and you threaten your opponent, then you can just hit a scale shot 
and then just get the plus one speed and now you just become a gigantic threat and Baxcalibur isn't a Pokemon to play with because it's Terra typing. Now I've seen Fairy, I've seen Ice, but I think Ground has a very, very, very useful typing because it can hit unaware Pokemon that are fat, like uh, Clotsire. It can hit Pokemon that this Pokemon can resist to, such as Toxapex. If Icicle Spear and Skill Shard aren't doing much, maybe a Terra Earthquake at plus two is going to obliterate fat Pokemon like Toxapex. Heck, it can obliterate the new Pokemon like Okie Doki, which is very bulky. And I highly doubt that a plus two, it's going to survive. <laughs> but I think Baxcalibur is going to be the best Pokemon or the best abuser in Snow. Just a phenomenal Pokemon overall. I mean, even without Snow, it's still a pretty good Pokemon. But now with the Lolan Ninetales, I mean, it's just disgusting. And if you really care about other Pokemon you want to place on your team, I mean, Pokemon that are just setup sweepers, hyper offensive, you can use Manaphy. Manaphy, we all know, Tail Glow. And Tail Glow is just phenomenal in any metagame. And then if you want to get your hazards up, I think Gilmora, honestly, will be your best bet. And not only it can get up hazards, but it can also spin them away in case you really need to deal with certain situations. And then, of course, we got King Gambit. King Gambit is going to be broken no matter what. Especially behind screens. This Pokemon's already annoying to deal with. And yeah. And then you have the Paradox Pokemon. Uh, personally, to me, I think Iron Valiant might be significantly better depending on what your team uh, composition is. If you care about the special attackers on your team, then maybe Iron Valiant will be a little bit useful, especially Terra Electric. If you care about physical power, I think, you know. Roaring Moon is probably going to be your best bet. Now you have Roaring Moon that you can just get a plus one behind screens with Protosynthesis and just start destroying stuff. So overall, I think Snow is going to be the best weather for right now until we start seeing more bans in OU. Personally, I don't think Ninetales deserves to get banned. I do think maybe along the road, um, Baxcalibur might get the boot depending on how things are because everyone's running HO. I mean, HO is HO. That's that's a day one, day two kind of metagame what we're going to be seeing right now. So there you have it. And then also, of course, Ogre Pond just takes advantage of it. It has decent bulk on its own. And if you care about this kind of stuff, um, if you look at its stats overall, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a pretty good Pokemon and definitely can take advantage of behind screens or Roarville in this case. So yeah, there you have it. I think these two Pokemon, you're going to be seeing them a lot on a lot of teams. So watch out for those. And there you have it. That's your boy Franklin signing out. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, peace.